Packaging. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardamus Prime here doing another Diamond Select Toys figure review on the Captain America 8 inch retro limited edition collector action figure set. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it. Big, big, big. big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest coming from DST, check the link in the description below. And I really like this packaging over here. This is actually made so that you can repackage it after you've opened it, which I think is pretty nice. You get this Mego looking packaging right over there. There's a Spider-Man figure that's already out. We get this gold foil sticker right there and same thing with the other side. Big old picture of Captain America. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Captain America out of the packaging in what I think is his coolest looking suit out of the three that come with this figure. Now this is not supposed to be the most detailed out sculpted figure and all that. Uh, this is more of a retro kind of look for I think mostly for people that grew up in the 70s that collected Mego figures or had Mego toys uh, back in the day but now this is a collector's edition that's upgraded and stuff and you have different you know costumes and everything that you can get Captain America in here uh, for those of us that are born a little bit later we recognize these mostly from robot chicken but this is a really cool piece it comes with a lot of accessories so let's get through them it comes with this really cool booklet with this nice matted paper over here and it actually has thread stitching the spine I think that's really neat and you look on the inside over here you get all these pages talking about the history of the Mego Captain America figure then we also get some history talking about Captain America himself which is really cool. I actually haven't read through this entire thing, but I like that it comes with this. This is a true collector's piece. So getting a closer look at this guy, the face sculpt is kind of funny. I mean, it's supposed to have that retro look to him, so I think that's pretty cool, though. I mean, the paint apps came out pretty clean and everything. I will say, though, when switching the heads off and on, I did get some paint rub on some of the flesh tones, so that's kind of a bummer, but not a big deal. You have this star sewn on right there. You can tell it's made out of a fake leather material, and we get this soft, good material throughout for his mesh and everything thing and I think this is actually really well done. The only thing is, you know, I get some white fabric popping in through over there. Some nice plastic hands with the wrinkles for the gloves and everything. He kind of has a diaper kind of look going on over here. That's kind that was kind of annoying for me, you know, when putting this suit on. He has his buccaneer boots right over there. So that's pretty cool. No peg holes at the bottom of the feet or anything like that. And here's the back of it. And then uh, to remove everything, you just detach the button right here, unclip that button and he has two buttons right over here. Uh, but first I do want to show off uh, the interchangeable hands. He does have a pair of open hands right here. Nice sculpt on these. I like that. Then he does have these two karate chop hands or these saluting hands as well. So these look pretty cool too. And of course he does have the fisted hands that we already saw. So popping these on and off is not very difficult at all. You just see it right there. And I just plug this hand right over here, which I'm going to use as a shield holding hand. And then here's a look at the shield right here, which is sculpted pretty nicely. I like how it's sculpted. Paint apps came out pretty clean. You have these elastic bands right there on the back. And you just shove this in there. And the fingers kind of just wedge into that little plastic slot right there. So it holds okay. Not fantastic, but it's all right. And he also comes with his first appearance shield over here, which you can also use. It's pretty interesting. You have these two pegs right here that just hang on to the hand. Actually, you want to get that through that piece, and then it just hangs on right there. So I think that's pretty cool. That doesn't look too bad. So all three versions of Captain America share the same body mold. So I'm going to go through over the articulation really quick, where they rotate side to side over here. They have shoulders that go up, and they move forward. That's pretty funny looking. Uh, he does have a rotation right over here, and he has a single jointed elbow that bends at 90 degrees. The wrists swivel and they hinge up and down. He does have a waist joint that rotates side to side and oh my god This is so freaking funny. I don't know what the hell happened. All right, so it rotates side to side and crunches forward and back uh, You do get some pivot over here as well You do get hip joints that stretch out that far and he kicks forward that much and it moves back quite a bit Upper thigh swivel single jointed knee that bends in quite a bit. And then he does have ankle movement I'm gonna this is kind of funny with this little onesie, but he has ankle ankle movement that moves up and down, no side to side or ankle pivot. And to get you an idea of how this works with switching these out, you can remove the boots right over there. He has his onesie on, reminds me of children's pajamas. I like to remove the hands completely over here. And then you don't really have to, but you know, you can just go ahead and remove the head. Actually, I'm just going to do it right now. There we go. Can't be afraid of squishing it, but at the same time, I do get a little paint rub sometimes. But you have this one button, two button right there, and then the button on the belt, and then just, you know, remove this whole thing. 
right here. So this is kind of like playing with dolls, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I did a video on the Shardmas Wank channel talking about this, but here we go. Dan taking all this stuff off. And this isn't necessarily the funnest thing in the world for me in particular, but I understand, um, you know, the, the fandom behind the, the Mego figures and everything like that. So I still respect it. It's just not my favorite cup of tea of, you know, putting pants on other people. You know what I mean? Just fix yourself, huh? It's not cool to need help. And there he is, completely nude, headless, and handless. Oh, but those Captain America patas. So you can get some toenails sculpted on there. It's kind of funny, the figure itself does have pickles at the bottom of the feet. So here's the figure, and it's Steve Rogers mode. Looking pretty cool. Looking like a completely different figure. You get all these interchangeable parts, and all these new clothes and everything, and he has his helmet on there. And it wasn't too bad switching everything out. I guess the most tricky part for me with this one uh, was just getting the tie right. You have to loop the tie around the collar and everything, and then tuck it on the inside of the shirt. I really like that gold buckle and everything. And you have these straps that go around to the bottom of the feet, which I think is pretty neat. And you can remove his helmet right over here, which I think was sculpted and painted pretty well. It's kind of a soft material, a little bit of paint chipping, but not too bad. Wide-eyed, knee-deep in surprise, if you know that reference. But yeah, he's really wide-eyed, a little funny looking, but you know, it's supposed to have that retro look. I did scratch the paint on the chin while squeezing you know, the head on there, so that's my bad. Uh, but still, the paint's actually Actually very clean aside from my own you know ripping right there you can see the highlights over here so we do get variations of yellow and I think the hair is actually sculpted very well I think they did a pretty good job with this and I think the soft goods came out very well on this I do like it it looks very good I think they did a solid job with this I like how the pants come over here putting these little pieces right there it wasn't very difficult at all you have these velcro pieces and these latch around the bottom of his feet but anyway let's get him transformed into his retro Migo form and then finally we have our classic Mego looking Captain America. Very funny looking, I think, with this big old head and stuff. It's supposed to look like a Mego toy though, which I think they've done a great job with. You have this vinyl belt coming around right over there, and you have those button clips right there on the back. Uh, he has this very wrinkled shield that's supposed to resemble the original toy, which I think is actually pretty accurate, especially based off the pictures that you see inside that pamphlet. So you can see that sticker's kind of all wrinkled up and everything. You get this little piece right over there where you can stick his hand through. You can wedge it in there so that he holds it. Wish there was a clip or something to come over here, but I don't know exactly how the original toy worked. I think this teardrop head is very funny looking, you know, but it's supposed to look like this, you know, again, it's the retro look and this is our more contemporary look, you know. They're both kind of funny looking actually. <laughs> but I think they did a good job with this. The paint apps are pretty solid and then you just have this little piece of thread holding this fake leather just like on that other version of the Captain America. Very nice elastic fabric right over there. And again, we have this vinyl belt right over here that you don't have to detach or anything like that and he has his unbuccaneered boots right there with some nice sculpted seams throughout not looking too shabby so as advertised the figure stands at eight inches tall and here he is next to my other Mio style figure we have cock knocker and i gotta give a big thanks to sean long for the photo op with mark hamill look he made the cock knocker face so i think it was pop punk comic geek that gave me this marvel legends signature series cyclops over here and then here's the retro freddy from neca thanks to paco and of course here's cap next to the marvel legends big time let down spider-man so here's everything that comes with this set and it's a lot of stuff you're essentially getting three figures in one, which I think is really cool. Now this set, it's not for everybody, but it's definitely for people that grew up in that era of the Mego toys, and I think you'd really like this a lot. And if you're a big Captain America fan, I really highly recommend this too. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right over there, check out my last two videos on the side right over there, and don't forget to go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. He could, then he also come. And he also comes with his.